back in the 5-0. 5-0 is running spectacular now. Had to get a whole new transmission, second one, because, you know, Amco decided to fuck up my first one, put it in, put shit in wrong, don't do shit right. Now I got a good one in here with a brand new clutch setup with spec, the Super Twin, SS Twin, this, whatever, Twin S mounted, car is running good. But I'm going to dive more into that in a 5 -0 video. I just want to fill you guys in. I've been very busy with a lot of stuff. Uh, I've been seeing what's been going on in the news with Diddy. I mean, uh, a hundred more people came out. That they had the vice president debate last night. We still got to talk about Trump. I got to talk about so much stuff. So I'm planning a live stream this week. Now, this video, of course, isn't even about that. Because, like I said, there's a lot going on. And me trying to make a thousand videos, I just cover a lot of that in the live stream. and give it a lot more to talk about, a lot more entertaining. And a little bit longer to be online with you guys doing that, doing that particular stream. Because there's going to be a lot to talk about anime a lot it's a big month for anime this month so there's a lot going on too so a little bit for everybody in the upcoming live stream but this is about cali muscle shout out to john bravo i seen that plane closed up there i uh seen i don't want to hit it too hard because brand new trace uh <laughs> I seen where Cali Muscle, fucking stupid ass Cali Muscle, I can't believe it. Cali Muscle decided to have his eyes operate on, to have the color changed in his eyes. Hello? Hey, what's going on, man? Okay, I had to get it here. What time got closed today? Six o'clock. Okay, uh, I'll try to come there and get it at the at the Rango, and uh, cause it might not fit in the Mustang, and uh, take it with me, take up the guys' hands. <laughs> All right, appreciate it, man. See you then. All right, bye. Yeah. Got see phone call. I didn't answer my watch. I got parts coming in anyway. But I seen that he had his eyes dyed, his iris, whatever around the eyes. I just hit a fucking tire. Now I got a fucking water jug just flew past the car. Now I feel you guys see on that on the five on the five video. I get my car to shop. That, that was the part that came in my front splitter. The fucking little side panel is a. I feel you guys in. I'm the Saints game on Sunday. Hit a tire road. Now it's a fucking big ass gallon jug of water. You probably see it in the river and pass by in the shoulder over there. So anyway, Cali Muscle has his eyes worked on corners. Look at this thing around your eyes, but I ain't no eye doctor. Correct me if I'm wrong. And once again, shout out to John Bravo. I haven't watched Cali Muscle since Cali been, de been declaring hell on fruits or whatever. Uh, saying fruits cure every fucking goddamn thing. But um, I all I want to know is this. What possesses a man to want to have his eyes changed. I, I, I don't understand it, and I, and I never will. Uh, when you fuck with your eyes, right, you run the risk of going blind, okay? Now, John did an amazing job in his video, but something dawned on me, and if anyone that's been watching Cali Muscle long enough knows that Cali has this thing about food and dyes and dyes in general, cancer causing products in general and a lot of stuff that he says that he's against he do you know like like he made his his cookies his cookies had all that high fructose corn syrup in it but he tried to get on mark low learner about high fructose corn syrup and how it causes cancers now understand that they put that warning p65 cancer label on a lot of products that every product in california because california is one of those crazy ass states where if you don't do that they'll sue you so Anything can cause cancer if you're getting too much of it. That's why he's shit in moderation, right? But with all that being said, Cali Muscle, when it has eyes dyed, because that's how effectively you change the colors of your eyes. So, what was the reason behind doing it? And I agree, I think it's for views. I think a lot of it's for views. But I. I for me personally, we, we all know the Chuck Bastard shit with Cali Muscle, right? The Chuck Bastard shit, right? 
that sound like some gay shit. I, I don't know any guy that would want to go have his eyes. And he got them like a grayish, bluish color. You know what? I don't make money on the platform. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm monetized, but I get paid like once or twice a year, right? Here's my thing. If it's getting that desperate for you to make some money on here to where you're risking your, your sight or your life with doing mukbangs and stuff, then they need to just get rid of this platform any other platform that's monetizing people or really get strict and, and uh, hear about their guidelines. Because that's self-harm. Your eyes, you're getting your eyes. That shit not even approved by the FDA. Frank Tafonto was crying about he can't even see anymore. He had blurred vision. Now, we all know Frank is a liar sometimes. But Frank might be wearing contacts and he's trying to get sympathy off a lot of shit because, you know, it's Frank Tafonto. I mean, and, uh, anybody that, that watches Frank Tafonto know Frank Tafonto is full of shit. Now, it, 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 that's just facts. I mean, vegan games, we know that's vegan games on a lost lover. To me, he's worse than Vince McMahon on steroids. And then I'm going to talk about the Vince McMahon documentary too in the live stream. I watched all the episodes on Netflix. Shit was crazy as fuck. But here's my advice to Cali Musk. And, yeah, you know, like I say, you know, be big man, you know. I, you got to stop doing dumb shit. You got twins, man. You got kids. You know, I got kids. When you prioritize social media over your family life, I know social media puts you out there and that's how you got your bread and butter. But can you really say you're going to enjoy life if you lose your sight? And then you can't really see your kids grow up. You hear them. You know you got kids, but you won't be able to see them. I mean, you don't fuck with your eyes, man. You don't fuck with your eyes. You don't do it. You don't fuck with anything in your, in your head, period. Any neck injury, like, you know, I'm getting over an injury. It takes a long time for a lot of them to get back to normal, but I'm doing great. I'm going to the gym now. I'm training. And go do lower body day death by yesterday. I've been doing a lot of corrective activity. That's why I haven't recorded my sessions. Because I've been mainly doing dumbbells and kettlebells, corrective activity stuff. And a lot of you guys don't want to see that type of stuff. So I ain't been filming it. But I am easing back into compound lifts real soon. And that's what you guys love seeing. So, you know, I'm just letting everything recover, recover. And I've been really focusing on building my foundation. That was the reason that I got hurt because the foundation had leaks in it. You go back and you correct that. And it takes a while sometimes. But the point is, Callie, you got famous off of social media, lifting weights, being on steroids and lying about it, getting out of the penitentiary. And you know, you you were one of those stories that you fucked up in life, but then you made something about yourself. Now it's like you're just a law cow. You're trying to stay relevant. Everybody goes through a period to where they'll hit the pinnacle of their YouTube channel and then they'll, they'll come down. Why? Because nobody wants to see you all the time on social media. You get old. People get old. It's a revolving door. That's why when you let it consume you so much, it ultimately ends up costing you your life. It's one of the reasons why the old saying goes, how can we miss you if you don't ever go away? That's why some content creators are getting smart now. They're taking breaks from social media. They're making content. Then they go away for three or four weeks a month like Jeff Nipper. Jeff Nipper comes, drop a video. He's gone for a month or two. And he comes back. When you're just reaching for shit, it's like Greg Doucette every day. And he has nothing else. He say the same shit every fucking day. His videos are cut and paste, copy every fucking day is the same. That gets old. He might be getting subs, but his views ain't reflecting that. So all I'm trying to say is don't get into a situation to where it could cost you your fucking life. Because honestly, it's not worth dying for. Social media isn't worth dying for. It's not, it's not that fucking serious. So... Your boy's alive. He's coming back with a vengeance. Uh, I, you know, next week I have to fly to Texas because I both been going last week, but Hurricane Helene has other plans. And I'll give you guys an update on what we experienced out here. My family in Augusta, I found out they got their lights back on yesterday. I was out there Monday helping those guys out and everything. And, and I had a family member that passed, so I'll be heading to Texas here next weekend for that for that funeral there. So, but before then, kids finna go on fall break. I'm gonna have a little bit more time to make some content so I ain't got to be out and about every motherfucking day. I can I can do my content and all that good shit. So expect a few videos next week. I do have some pre-recorded stuff, but honestly, it's old stuff, so I'm probably not going to upload it. I'm probably going to do some, some fresh stuff so I can give you guys something that's more current instead of 
old stuff that nine zero ever thing to talk about. So I just want to give you guys an update. Your boy's still alive and well and kicking. I'm back in the five zero. Expect that video soon. And I just been your boy Squad Magic. I'm gonna go to the gym and playing and bang. I'm not everyone. Peace.